Hi guys, you're watching GT channel and this is Utgard the Keep Dungeon Run. So let's go pick up the quests from this NPC, the Dwarf, Defender Mortum. So let's get the quests. Okay, accept. Well, I'm just gonna take these quests and that's it. Because my party members are already doing this dungeon. So I need to go help them out by killing these monsters. So yeah, there goes the big pool right here. Wow, nice. So just gonna spam one button, like always. Here we go. Dealing some crazy damage. And this is pretty big pool right here. Nice, I like it. We are killing some giant humans. Damn. Well, this dungeon is located in the Howling Fjord, if I'm not mistaken. I think this is the castle in the middle of the map in the Howling Fjord. So yeah, let's get the loot. Some silver and that's it. And let's check the map. So there it is, the first boss is located right here. So we are already pretty close by to that, to that guy. Nice. And it looks like I need to pick up some items for my quest. Well, for one of my quests. Come on, I need to get it, I need to get these very cool weapons, here we go. I'm first, nice, just got it. And I need to get 5 items for this quest to complete. Five weapons, I mean. Let's go kill these monsters. Damn giant people getting in our way. So let's take them out. We have a pretty good group here. Nice, I like it. So there is another weapon right here. Let's get it. A big axe. Two big axes. Okay, 2 out of 5, so I need to get 3 more to complete this quest. Let's get another one. And let's go. Sprinting away, and this is the Dragon Flare Pens. And there are some dragons here. So let's go, gonna jump on this dragon. And holy shit, this elite monster has 70,000 HP. That's quite a lot for elite monster. But still, it is not a problem for this group. We're just totally killing everything here. And I cannot see shit. Damn it, this is some crazy pool right here. And I'm getting kicked by someone. Who the hell is kicking me here? I guess the dragons. The dragons have this kick ability. So yeah, here we go. Spamming the Phantom Nice ability. And they're just dying. Nice. And someone just pulled some more dragons here. Why are we killing everything in this room? I have no idea, but I guess we need to kill them. So let's just kill them then. And the last monster is that I think. Yes. Very nice. And I'm just getting crazy experience from this dungeon. I think I'm gonna get a level up after I complete this dungeon fully. Seriously, I'm gonna get level 77. So, let's go. What are we waiting for? So there goes the tank and let's go. Let's kill these monsters. Well, first I need to get some weapons. Let's pick up some of these weapons and the last weapon gonna be this one. And I'm gonna complete the quest. Nice, so the quest is completed. Now I'm just gonna go help them out by killing these monsters. Here we go. DPSing them down. And the last monster is dead. Okay. So is this the room for the first boss? Yes it is, Prince Keleset. Wow. This is gonna be the first boss fight in this dungeon. Well of course, first we need to kill these trash mobs. Then we're gonna go for the boss. So yeah. Let's deal some damage here. Kill these giant humans. And they're dying pretty nicely. Getting a lot of experience, and there it is, there is the first boss, the prince. The prince must die. So this guy has almost 200,000 HP. So I'm gonna pop my adrenaline rush ability here. To gain some crazy energy regeneration. And let's deal some crazy damage here now. Here we go, DPSing it. This guy is totally getting destroyed, and he just summoned some skeletons right there, but... Few more hits, and this guy is dead, that's it. He just didn't stand a chance against this group. Holy cow. And he dropped some kind of dagger. But I think this dagger is for a caster. Yes, it has some spell power. 
So this dagger is for the caster, I'm gonna greet on it, and I just want it. Nice, I guess. Well, let's go. Let's proceed into this dungeon. The tank is pulling some monsters here, very nice. So I'm just gonna spam one button, like always. And let's fully clear this place. There's some kind of zombies here, wow. Seriously, goals. Damn goals. So let's kill all of them. Damn bastards. Must die. And there goes the tank again. He just pulls shit lot of monsters here. I like it. I like this group very much. Because they know what they are doing. Seriously. It's some crazy pulls right here. Let's get the loots. And let's kill the rest of the monsters. This guy right here must die. And he is dead. Okay. So now where are we going? It looks like we are going up, somewhere up, I guess. So let's go, gonna sprint away. And we need to kill some more trash mobs before we reach another boss. So yeah, let's do it. Four monsters only, come on. Pull some more mobs here. Well, maybe it is okay to kill four mobs too, because these elite monsters have 30,000 HP each. So that's a lot of health to take down. But still, it is not a problem to us. And there is some kind of quest giver right there. Yeah, well, first we need to kill these monsters. And then I'm gonna go and check out that quest right there. So here we go. Spamming the Final Knives ability, like always. My crazy AoE spell. And let's go get the quest, or... Or what? There's the guy. Let's go pick this quest. I don't know why my other party members are not taking this quest. Strange. Well, let's see. Maybe this is some kind of escort quest or maybe not. I don't know, but I'm just gonna take it. And... I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Wait, I just completed this quest. Nice. I just got some kind of strange items. Lucky red envelope. And the other item is coin of ancestry. Wow, some strange items. And my party members already went ahead. Damn it, I need to go faster. Come on. Let's go. Here we go. Let's spam Final Nice ability. Deal some crazy damage here. And let's kill every single one of these giant humans. That are inside this dungeon. And this is just crazy. I get 2000 experience points per kill. I need only 100,000 experience and I'm gonna get a level up. That's just crazy. So basically I need to kill 50 elite monsters and I'm gonna get level 77. That's gonna be totally amazing. Yeah, so let's do it. Let's get some experience. Basically I'm just grinding here in this dungeon. It's just insane how much experience you get in the dungeons in this game. So this must be the second boss. Yes. Scarwald and Dalron. So there are the two bosses. We need to kill two bosses at the same time. Holy cow. It's the first time I see this kind of thing. So like always gonna pop my Adrenaline Rush ability. To deal some crazy damage here. Here we go DPSing this Warlock guy down. Come on, he's gonna die. Few hits and he is dead. Nice. And there is some kind of spirit. What the hell. So I guess I'm gonna switch target to this like warrior guy because I don't know what I supposed to do here in this place and it looks like one of my party members just died again what the hell the party member just died or or not yeah I think he just died strange anyway the drop the drop is the plate chest grid on it okay and let's check the loots well this guy doesn't drop anything else so yeah I don't need to pick up any quest items from this guy. So now we need to wait before this priest gonna resurrect. And then we're gonna go for the last boss I guess. So finally everyone is alive. So now let's go and proceed into this dungeon. Let's complete it fully. So we are going up and up. So what's gonna be upstairs in this place? I have no idea. But I guess I'm gonna find out pretty soon. After we clear this place from the trash mobs. So here we go, DPSing them down. 
Gonna pop my slice and dice ability to speed up a little and they're just dead. Okay, so let's sprint using my sprint ability and let's run. Let's run up. So there must be the final boss. Yes, this guy. This guy must be the final boss, I think. Or maybe not. I don't know. Let's let's go and check it out. So again, four monsters blocking our way, so we need to kill them before we go for the final boss of this dungeon. The Utgard the Keep. So let's kill them. Damn bastards. Stop getting in our way. Okay, let's get the loot. Some kind of blue item. Well, it's for the caster, so I'm gonna grid on it. And yes, this is the outside. Wow, nice. And that guy must be the final boss. Ingvar the Plunderer. Very nice. So first again we need to kill some trash mobs. Before we reach that guy. And they are dying very fast. And there are some dragons here. Look at these guys. 70,000 HP. Wow, that's quite a lot. For elite monster. So let's kill it. Kill this dragon riding monster and then go for the boss. Come on, dealing some dips here. And he is dead. And one of the party members just got a level up. Nice. Very nice. And pretty soon I gonna get a level up myself. I need only 45,000 experience points. That's gonna be super awesome. So yeah, here we go. This must be the last pack of trash mobs. And then we're gonna go for the boss, I guess. So let's kill them pretty fast. They are dead. Get the loots. Nothing good to pick up. And yes, here we go. There it is. There is the guy. The final boss of this dungeon. And what the hell, everyone is riding their mounts. That's strange. So yeah, there it is. Holy cow, look at that guy. And the tank just went in, so here we go, DPSing him down. Let's deal some crazy damage to this guy. Well, this boss only has 120,000 HP. That isn't that much. And he is dead or, or what? Yes, he is dead. That's it or not? What the hell is happening here? Holy cow. Some kind of strange spirit is just appeared from totally nowhere. And this stupid harpy wants to resurrect this guy. Damn. Damn, this looks pretty dangerous. So yes, this guy just got resurrected. Holy cow. And he transformed into this undead. A zombie. He's a zombie now. Holy shit. This guy now is a zombie. So this zombie must die. So I can pop my adrenaline rush ability and let's take this stupid zombie out. Here we go, DPSing him down, and he just died. Nice, so that's it. This dungeon is fully complete. And I got some kind of axe, two-handed axe. We're gonna grid on it, because I don't really need it. So yeah. And Inguar's head, the quest item. So now all that's left for me to do is go back to the quest giver, complete the quests, gonna get my level up, and that's it. So this was the Udgar the Keep, thanks for watching, bye.